What's your response to people who say, oh, YouTube's for kids? I mean, I think it's for kids now. I, th I think it is. I, I think it's. Um, I think most of what's on in the YouTube space that's popular is, is aimed at kids. But also, I think the problem has been is that in the last you know couple of generations, um, media any any all media has sort of been made for specific age groups, and that really wasn't the case when I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid growing up in the '70s, you watched what adults watched. You know what I mean? It was there was there were only a handful of channels. There's only so much programming. There's nothing compared to what's out there now. So if your parents watched All in the Family or Mash, which yeah. which by compare Rhoda, or Mary Tyler Moore, or Bob Newhart, any of those shows that by comparison would be considered adult shows, there wasn't any Nickelodeon. There wasn't anything. There wasn't Hannah Montana. There wasn't you know any of this stuff that's like targeted. So I think what happened is, is that kids became the beneficiary of watching stuff that wasn't necess that was a little bit above their own wherever they were and you ended up reaching for that or you ended up I just remember thinking like wow I that's what the adult I want to be there I want to that's that's what it's going to be like when I'm you know going out or dating or married or having a job that's going to be I think I think that's a good thing and a healthy thing and I think that there's a lot of material that plays down to kids and then kids stay in that sort of you know sort of um, stunted place. So, yeah, YouTube is always going to be filled with, you know, I think my, my wife said somebody stuck like cinnamon up their ass or something like that, or the, or drank cinnamon or something, and that's got 80 trillion, like that's the, that's the, that's the content. Somebody drinking like a jar of cinnamon or something. I'm, I probably sound super old because this is probably like, has 8 jillion hits, but that is different from, you know, an episode of All in the Family. It'd be interesting to see if we can graduate from cute kittens and people farting fire to something that actually has, um, that's worth watching over 20 seconds that actually is interesting and informative and, and, and entertaining. I think it can be that. I can totally, YouTube can be that. But right now it's in its infancy in a lot of ways. Do you think though that's a symptom of our times? I mean, most of these kids have been around for September 11th when yeah. things pretty much changed. And they maybe want something that's lighter. Like when I was growing up, there was the show Family with Christy McNichol. Oh, totally. It I remember Family. It was great. It was, yep. But I wonder if that's too heavy now because the world is actually a much heavier place in some maybe. sense. Maybe. Although, you know, when, when, you know, in the 70s, we were like, I remember we were still in Vietnam. We still had Watergate. The country was essentially, I mean, the, the, the time that birthed like the last great period of um, cinema, you know, or everybody's, you know, the consensus is the 70s was the last golden age, was the time of the, the dark, probably one of the darkest periods in this country in terms of people's sort of bubble bursting. Oh, political! Uh, the president is a crook, and you know the war, and we're we're losing a war, first war, and it's it's for what? And and um, although you know uh, Afghanistan and Iraq make you know Vietnam look like nothing comparatively, so maybe it is. I don't know. I think there's always been escapism. Uh, people always want, you know, whether it's during the Great Depression, people wanted, you know, musicals to disappear, you know, into. Um, but I also feel that if it only is that, that that the it's, all, it's sort of like the the collective intelligence level just gets lowered and lowered and lowered till we become like, you know, like like my judges feel like Idiocracy, which is an underrated movie, but where you just become like this blob with like, you know, sitting in front of a monitor, which is just like you know, violence and porn and having like, you know, liquid cheese fed into your mouth. I mean, you can, that's where it's going, you know, where we're going into this. If you don't have any real stimulus, and that doesn't mean it has to be heady, you know, esoteric entertainment. If it's just like, it can still be funny and smart, it can still be action and smart, then you become brighter. It's like if you only read, if you only ever read a comic book, that's the level of your literature, that's your, that's, that's, unless you're, you know, a genius if what you take in informs what you what you like and what you put out and so you have to digest something of substance in order to be substantive in your own way I think you know that's my thinking All right.